that's odd. We're back outside, but we didn't... you know. Sometimes you reach as far as you're ready to go. Valhalla's decision, or yours? Hmm. Does this mean you're done in there? No. I will discover who invited me. I believe I am close. You're sure it's worth dying for? Oh, I think we're fairly accustomed to dying at this point. Don't be glib, Mimir. Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat, but beyond that, it makes its own rules. And if you don't play by them... Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is... good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Truly. You are proving yourself to Valhalla. Let's see. Do these tasks, return here for rewards. Fair enough. Air. Your reward. Valhalla recognizes your determination. Let it empower you as you evolve. I'd like to tell you a story that I think will help you along your path. Continue. Early in my life, before I was a Valkyrie, I was a healer in a small village. My father trained me in the use of herbs and natural remedies. To him, coming from a long line of herbal healers, that was the only true medicine. But visiting the city, I saw healers who used magic only magic, to treat their patients. I'd seen it work, and work wonders. I tried to tell my father, but he said mage healing was against his philosophy, the dangerous shortcut that violated tradition. Being a good daughter, I respected his convictions. But that all changed when he took ill. That's a good place to stop for now. When you're further along on your journey, I'll share the next part of my story. Uh. These could really help you in there.
Gula. You have earned this. I see you refuse to settle for the ordinary general. I hear you like stories. I got one for you. I will hear. I wasn't born with the privilege of some of my sisters in arms. I wasn't bred for greatness. I was just the daughter of some poor innkeeper. Matter of fact, I wasn't even his. He just raised me after somebody left me there. I didn't have much going for me, but I had one thing. I wasn't afraid of anyone. If somebody was asking for a punch in the face, I never thought twice. Brought a heap of trouble on myself that way, it's true. But I sure learned how to fight. Enough for now. I'll pick that up later. Hmm. The fog's lifted. Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. And those statues are certainly imposing. I recognize them. They are judges of the underworld. From my homeland. Ah, well, you sound thrilled to see them again. Souls they deemed righteous were granted entrance to the Elysian Fields. Those deemed wicked were cast into Tartarus. Ah, yes, for the souls of the damned. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, 
Ah, Midgard in Memoriam. Ah, I'm starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms we'll visit here. Brother, whose voice was that we heard when Valhalla sent us back from the throne? You heard it also. Aye. Said he owes you a debt, was it? Someone who might lend us a hand, perhaps? Unlikely. He was a god of Greece, and we did not part on good terms. And by that you mean... Yes, I see. No shortage of bitter old ghosts in these parts. These parts being your memory, of course. Run! Yeah! <laughs> 